I'm, I'm a client and really at the moment I have Joe Blogs uh, installing refrigeration equipment for me and I also have a different Joe Blogs maintaining the equipment. Now, they're just maintaining it and what I get in is, is, is okay. How can you tell me I should spend more money um, on, first of all, maintaining? Why should I? Because it's working. It, it, it does the job. How, as a, uh, as a refrigeration contractor or maintenance provider, Lisa, would you be telling us why you should spend more money? Because, yeah, it works. It, it's keeping running. It's, it's, it's doing its job. Can you, can you explain what, what difference you can make? Yeah, I think, like I, like I said earlier, and I think Robert's example just now is, is great as well, is when you're talking about a vehicle, pe most people have got a vehicle. Not everybody's got any sort of knowledge of air, air conditioning or refrigeration. So when you say a vehicle and give them some um, comparisons, they get, they get it. So for me, if you'd got the best car in the world, but you never got it checked and you never got it um certain things checked on it whether it's water levels filter levels whatever um it would run if it was a really good car like i said bmw or other cars are available it would run but at some point it is going to start stuttering and sometimes it can be stuttering too late and the example i give to customers and i think um is the best example if you just generally maintain your equipment and do the basic checks and keep it as clean as possible, it will run probably for a lot longer than you expect. So 10 to 15 years life cycle on most air conditioning systems in offices. And for me, we see some great ones that have been maintained 20, 25 years, sometimes more. When you are spending money on that CapEx budget and you are having it designed well, you also want it to carry on being in place because if it's designed on a 10 year payback and you can get 15 even better or 20 um, and I think that's important to me that's important to me as a consumer myself so so to keep something going in maintenance and to make it very efficient in maintenance how much proportion how much more money would you need to spend on your maintenance there's often discussions about, um, like I've just said, doing the basic checks are good. Doing basic checks and getting things, making sure things are set up properly, so they're switching on and off properly, um, that you're getting things clean and tidy. Generally, if it doesn't look clean and tidy, it isn't and it won't run properly. Back to your car. Yeah, you don't have to wash the outside of your car to make it run better. I know there'll be a people that would argue about the aerodynamics and all that but it will not make it run generally better but inside the car making sure things are running well um is good so the basic stuff is what we recommend and up from there is totally down to cost for them and if they've got the ability to spend more and get more checks or if they've got people on site that will keep an eye so facilities managers perfect on on site but the basic checks and work up from there. I'll, I'll, no. I'll, I'll, I'll counter that as, as obviously GA are a compressor manufacturer and standing from the compressor manufacturing point of view, I'd rather you just not bother because most refrigeration systems, you have a spare compressor sitting there anyway. So why not just let the thing run, you know, let it run, uh, screw compressor will run for 50,000 hours before you need to touch it, it should do. As long as it's designed system, you have a, a well-designed system. You you should have automatic oil return. The oil should be clean, you know, it should be clean if it's commissioned again and and filtered properly before you start the plant up. You know, if I go to my screw guys, you know, the tolerances between the rotors are 10 microns. So so and you can't see dirt uh, below 50 microns. So therefore, if you're seeing if you're seeing particles in oil through compressors, you're already too late. So what's the point of maintaining it if, if, if you're just going to leave it like that? Design it properly so you don't have these issues to begin with. And again, the overall cost to the client is much greater is the energy side. So, so, so put money into efficiency. If you've got bigger surface, surfaces in your condenser and you've got bigger surfaces in your air coolers and your air volumes are correct, then they'll 
they won't self keep clean, but dirt on the cooler will not have as, as greater effect. Um, and with regards to the car, my kids clean the car. So, so and, and yeah, it does become more efficient when it runs because it's carrying less weight theoretically. And it is a little bit more dynamic, but I don't need an engineer to do that. You know, I've got cars that are just crapped out. You change the engine every 10 years or so, but that's, that's good enough. So, 